In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a simple YouTube end slide right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into the video. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and you have a brand new sequence created, we first want to begin by creating a new black video. So we'll go down to the new item button, select that and we'll select black video. We'll press OK on this black video, making sure that the width is 1920 and the height is 1080. Now we'll drag the black video onto your sequence and you want to make sure that is on video layer one. And we're just going to extend the duration out to around 10 seconds. Now from here, you want to go into effects and we're going to search for tint. The reason why we want to search for tint is because tint is going to allow us to change the color of the black video. So this means we can have a colored background on our YouTube end slide. So in tint, you want to go to map black to select the black box and select any color of your choice. So I'm going to select this aqua blue and there we go. That is our background. Now we're going to go back into our project window. So project broker films, we're going to drag the black video back onto video layer two. And we're going to increase the duration again to 10 seconds. Now from here, we're going to change the scale of this black video down to around 40%. And then from there, we're just going to go into the position. We're going to move this to the left and then we can bring that up a touch. Now we're going to copy that second black video. So we're going to hold option or alt if you're on windows option on Mac. We're going to hold that and pull that up, holding onto option, release the black video. And that's going to make a perfect copy of that small black video. Now we'll select the black video on video layer three and we'll change the position, moving this to the right. Now, as you can see, the gap on the right here is a little bit smaller than the gap on the left. So I'm going to go to video layer two and we'll pull the position of this over to the left. And there we go. That looks really nice. So from here, you can now go ahead and you can make a copy of both of those black videos. So we'll select both of those top two black videos, hold option or alt on your keyboard, and we'll drag those up onto video layer four and five. Now we'll go to video layer four, we'll pull this down. We'll go to video layer five and we'll also pull this down. And as you can see, the top here, the gap is bigger than the gap at the bottom. So we're gonna select all of those black videos. We're going to right click, select nest and okay. Now we're just going to drag that up. And as you can see, we've now got the space for four videos on our YouTube end slide. Of course though, if you don't want to show four videos, you want to show a video and a subscribe button, then I can show you how to do that. So we'll delete the nested sequence. We'll drop the black video onto video layer two, extend the duration out again. Now we'll go back into motion scale. We'll reduce the scale down to around 40% again, and we'll move this over to the left. Now from here, we want to add another black video. So we're going to go black video, drag that onto video layer three, increase the duration. And this time we're going to go into opacity and we're going to select the create ellipse mask button. So that's going to create this circle, but as you can see, it's not quite a perfect circle. So we're just going to zoom in on our sequence just a little bit. So we'll zoom into 100%. And then we're just going to pull this left point over to the left until that looks like a perfect circle. So that is about right. Of course, though, as you can see, this is feathered. The edge is soft. So to correct this, we're going to go into mask one, mask feather, and we'll pull this down to 0%. Now, as you can see, the edge of that is nice and sharp, although this button is a little bit bigger than the rectangle. So we'll go black video on video layer three. This is our circle and we'll decrease the scale until we're happy with the look of that. Now we'll zoom back out to fit. And there you go. You can see we've got a space for a video and a space for your subscribe button. Now the next up video or the next playlist that you want your viewer to watch is going to sit in that black square, that black rectangle, and your subscribe is going to sit in the circle but there might be a little bit of overlap and this means you might see that black. So if you wanted to add some sort of specific branding or change the color of these two shapes, then you just want to select both black videos, go to effects, drag your tint effect onto both of these. And then we want to change the map black to, and then select a color of your choice. So we can select white for both of these. And this means when you add the video on, there's going to be a simple white border around the video and the subscribe button. 
And there you go. That is how you create a basic YouTube end slide for your YouTube videos right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video. See you there.